This is Federal Way Public Academy. This small college preparatory school, which is a public school in the Federal Way Washington School District, has been shaped and nurtured under the leadership of its principal, Kurt Lauer, since 2004. Let us look back on the history of FWAPA and how Mr. Lauer first joined as a teacher. Hi everybody, my name is Ray Griffin. In 1999, I helped found Federal Way Public Academy and we opened that September 1st, 1999 with 90 seventh graders and 30 eighth graders in six portables on the Elahee Junior High campus. One of those classrooms in the portables was actually an office, so we only had five classrooms, but we had six teachers and myself and Kathy Parisi and had a very interesting, remarkable year in those portables. Um, I do wanna mention that the school grew the next few years to include grades six through 10 with additional board support for our excellent testing work as well as popularity and growing waiting lists. Um, the school actually was founded in 1999 after a March vote where we had a three to two board vote, somewhat controversial as we were trying to create something very different. Tom Vander Ark described it as a boutique school. There are many things that happened in the first few years, but we had some great staff members, Diana Stray, Mark Klumpenhauer. In the second year, Barry Lynn, and of course, Kurt Lauer joined us and of course became the long-term principal, really keeping this school going and doing a tremendous job, supporting the idea of not having just a typical school in federal way, especially preparing those 10th graders for options like the IV program, early college, and a variety of choices that were different than the normal 10th grade graduate. So the school is doing really well and it's, you know after all these years I'm really really pleased with the community and how it has supported the school. As I've gone on to do different things in my career I look back and see that as one of the more important um, exciting and challenging things that I had to do. No one will really know all the stories but hopefully we'll tell those someday. Congratulations Kurt, great job. Bye. Well, again, Ray did most of that work, but it was to be typically like a private, private school, like Annie Wright or Charles Wright or Lakeside, and uh, it pretty much was, and it still is, a school that concentrates on achievement and knowledge. Uh, Ray and I had. A fair amount of experience with college admissions and whatnot and we had a pretty good perception of what it takes to get into competitive colleges so we, we understood from our previous experiences working back east with private schools and with private colleges largely uh, what it takes to do that and the kind of strengths that you need to have be attractive to those kind of schools. Well, again, they have a vision. This is a college prep program. This is designed to meet the admission requirements of colleges, and we don't have a lot of the diversions and distractions that occur elsewhere. FOPA's mission is threefold. Uh, one, to prepare students to be competitive and successful at the country's top and most prestigious universities and establishments of higher learning. Two, to be compassionate, contributing members of society. And three, to be able to have the freedom to, of choice to strive for whatever it is that they have, whatever goals they have at any point in their life. So I've been working with Kurt Lauer for 20 years now, um, longer than anyone I've ever worked with in my entire career. We were both hired by Ray Griffin to work at FWAPA in the summer of 2001. And um, yeah, it was quite a start. I remember that the second week of classes, we had 9-11. And wow, what a way to start a, an already interesting kind of school life to be teaching in the portables, to, um, to having kids in, the, in a very college prep atmosphere, and then to deal with 9-11. That was my first real memory. Wow, what changes are going on? Life in the portables was interesting. Um, for one thing, bathrooms. 
only a couple of the portables had bathrooms in them. And so if you had a kid who had to use the bathroom, you say, fine, but you know, go ahead and go. But you know, you're gonna be interrupting Mr. Lin's lecture. And it was, there was something nice about it. It's something nice about having to share these bathrooms with everybody. It's a funny thing for me to think about, but it helped us feel like a family, like a real family. The staff didn't have a separate bathroom here and the kids have another one. The boys and the girls, we all had to share the same facilities, the same tight space. We all had to share the same lack of other facilities. Like there was no place to do assemblies. We were out in the parking lot. We had an asphalt area and kids just dragged chairs out there, sat down there in the clouds and the rain and the sun, and we did our little assemblies there. And on one hand, you could say it felt like a really cheap organization, but it was not cheap. It was broken down to the bare bones of what education is. You can get rid of all of the fancy schmancy elements around it. We were there. The kids were there. We knew we were there to teach and learn and have a purely educational community. And back in the days of the portable, that was clear. And that was one of those things that made it special. And I think it made an impact on me and on anyone else who came through here. Um, a lot of us said over the years, we missed the portables because as long as we had that, that kind of of atmosphere we remembered what made us special that we were special that we were different and it was good to be different and that education remained the purest form of what we should be doing in the school before I became a teacher at Floppa I was a student of Mr. Lauer and he was one of my favorite teachers of all time because of the way he cared for his students and I remember being in his class taking notes, but then also remembering just how positive he was in encouraging me, and he believed in me more than any other teacher. I'm so grateful to have had Mr. Lauer as my teacher. After serving for only three years, Mr. Lauer became FWAPA's principal in 2004. FWAPA serves a little over 300 students, which means approximately 60 students per grade from sixth to 10th grade. Entrance through FWAPA remains solely through lottery. Well, to maintain the high standards, the whole point of FWAPA is to be able to give public school kids the same quality education that you would get if you had to pay thirty or forty thousand dollars at a private school, and keeping that mission alive and keeping that vision alive. Um, my main goal is to be vigilant to be able to do that. To have a school that's the best place for kids to go, you also have to have a school that is the best place for teachers to teach. And part of my biggest role is getting good people and making sure that they love coming to work. And the way they can love coming to work is knowing that they have control and they are in charge of what they can teach. The philosophy behind sixth grade is first of all to prepare sixth graders to be successful here at FWAPA in the upper grades and then beyond. There are so many things that kids need to know that come from not doing any outside work to coming to FWAPA in, in sixth grade and being totally overwhelmed with work. And so they need time management, organization, and just how to plan out a, a day to get things done, how to prioritize all those kind of things. The rigors here in sixth grade are repeated in each grade. Sixth grade, if all goes well, students are successful in the next grades if they follow the advice that they're given in sixth grade. Hey there. I want to thank Kurt Lauer for his great contribution right now to the math program here at FWAPA. Over the last 21 years, the Public Academy has provided the math skills to a full generation of students helping them to reach their highest potential. As you know, students entering FWAP in the sixth grade come with a very broad range of arithmetic abilities. And unlike the current trend of those who seek to push kids along quickly, Kurt believes like the math staff here that solid arithmetic is the foundation to our success. 
that trying to advance students too quickly will have a backlash effect. Kurt has supported the extensive arithmetic testing and remedial work done by our sixth grade team, and ultimately the whole staff's ability to get each student to the right starting place. Regarding curriculum, over the past several years, the traditional FWAPA curriculum has remained golden despite the parade of new curriculum ideas touted around the nation. Kurt has trusted and supported the judgment of the math team here to select and enhance our math curriculum. Finally, I believe it is the quality daily instruction by the faculty's math team that has made the difference for our students as they leave FWAPA to pursue, pursue their chosen career paths. Kurt had the wisdom to hire good teachers who have provided quality, formal instruction and offered lots of informal tutoring for every student at the appropriate level. Further, he has given our team the freedom to teach to their strengths and make decisions together, which have made all the difference. So thanks a lot, Kurt, for the help, the memories, and best wishes on your journey from here. It's been a great ride. Thank you. The education at FLAPA is always fantastic. They manage to balance making it engaging and fun while also making sure that we have all the information we need to know to ace the tests and also be prepared for life and college. It's always super fun to learn new things and I'm so glad I've had the opportunity to be at FLAPA. I love FWAPA because of the sense of community that we build and the feeling of togetherness that sort of bonds between us all the way from 6th to 10th grade. I love the school dances and the class trips. I feel like the teachers are really personable and they make sure to connect with each student. And honestly, I just feel like FWAPA gives us such um, a feeling of belonging to everyone who comes and I'm going to miss it loads. FWAPA only goes up to 10th grade. After leaving FWAPA, students either go on to do Running Start at a local community college so they can graduate high school with their associate's degree, or finish the last two years at a local high school, usually Thomas Jefferson High School, where they pursue the International Baccalaureate program. A small few will go on straight to college, such as those accepted to University of Washington Early Entrance Program through the Robinson Center for Young Scholars. FWAPA's really prepared my daughter Natalia for being a confident and critical thinker. I remember the year before 10th grade, the summer before 10th grade, we were visiting my brother, who's a high school teacher, and he was really impressed by her ability to participate in and contribute to the conversation they were having about world events. Hi, Mr. Lauer. Thank you for your commitment in providing a safe and equitable learning environment for all students. One of the special unique things about FWAPA is that all grades, all five years, get to go to camp every year. It is so neat for these kids that many don't have the opportunity to travel or stay outside the home to get out and see a little bit of what the Northwest has to offer. And they bond as a team, as a school, as a class when they're in those different events. And they tend to progress from a very camp-like experience with the camp kitchen and everything in sixth grade to very independent by the time they get to the ninth and tenth grades. A really nice part of FWAP is that it's a choice school, meaning that parents chose to come here because they buy into the philosophy of the school. And they're full partners with their children and why they came here and we're all united together on the same mission. FWAPA, rather than being just a school community, was more like a school family. It was often described by Mr. Lauer as a three-legged stool. We would have the education teacher's curriculum as one leg, the student was one leg, and the parents were another leg. He needed all three to work together to have the best student outcome. Also, he encouraged every day a student parent-teacher conference day. Go. Now, FWAPA did have a PTSA at one point in time, and we found that with the PTSA, there were certain rules and regulations that we had to follow each year that became a little bit more cumbersome to our school. We found that FWAPA is an out-of-the-box type of school, and we really needed to have an out-of-the-box type of parent support club in which that we could support the school better. So we formed our own booster club. This way we can do for the school what we want to do for the school and what the school needs from us as parents without being so regulated by an outside source. 
Hi, I am so honored to have an opportunity as a current FWAPA parent, as well as a past FWAPA Booster Club president to speak to you today directly to thank you, Mr. Lauer, for your unending support of the Booster Club and its efforts to raise funds every year. As you know, through the auction, we were able to raise tens of thousands of dollars and that money helped to offset events and provide access that our scholars would have to attend camps every year. I thank you for your support also during my presidency and for attending every single Booster Club meeting. I wish you well, and I hope that you have a wonderful retirement. Now that Mr. Lauer is retiring, the FWAPA Booster Club wanted to recognize Mr. Lauer's commitment to our school by creating a scholarship in his honor. The Kurt Lauer Scholarship is worth $500 and awarded to a 10th grader who completes at least five hours of community service. And just like entering FWAPA, the winner is chosen by lottery. In honor of your many years of service to the Federal Way Public Academy, with one bench for each of Mr. Lauer, Mr. Genslinger, and Ms. Wisenhunt, the FWAPA Booster Club would like to donate this space as a gathering space for students to come together, to read books, and we hope that it'll be affectionately known as the Nook for many years to come. Hello, I'm Steve Anderson, Dean of Students and seventh grade science teacher. One thing that Booster Club wanted to provide Mr. Lauer as part of his retirement gift was a Japanese coral maple. Why Japanese maple? Well, Japan was one of the first countries that Mr. Lauer, or the first country, that Mr. Lauer toured in college, so we thought that this would be a fitting um, departure gift for Mr. Lauer. So Mr. Lauer, we appreciate everything you've done for FWAPA in the past 17 years. Thank you for your amazing service to our school. Thank you for all you've done. We sure appreciate that. Have a wonderful retirement. I mentioned how Mr. Lauer believed in me more than anyone else, and that shows just by how he has taken me in as a staff member at FWAPA and given me all the encouragement and support that I could have ever asked for. I love being a teacher at FWAPA, and it's all thanks to Mr. Lauer that I've had this opportunity to learn and grow as an educator. Thank you, Mr. Lauer. And Mr. Lauer, thank you for being a servant leader in the Federal Way community for over 20 years and helping so many young people realize their potential. Thank you, Mr. Lauer, for all your dedication. And it's been a pleasure working with you for the last few years. And I hope whatever you decide to do, it brings you happiness and good luck. The opportunities provided to me by FWAPA have made me feel as though there are no limitations to my future. Since I've decided to pursue a doctorate in physical therapy, I have managed to accelerate the completion of my degree by a year. This was made possible due to the prerequisites I've already achieved during my years at FWAPA. I'm thankful to have experienced this invaluable opportunity provided to me by Mr. Lauer. In simple terms, amazing. Over my time at FWAPA, Mr. Lauer has been an amazing principal. He really cares about every student and works with each one to ensure their success at FWAPA. When we were all in the sixth grade, Mr. Lauer came to our classroom almost every day and learned the names of every new student. He takes the effort to get to know everyone, which is what I find amazing. And I think his dual role as a principal and a teacher really makes him connected with the students and really is extraordinary. When I think of legacy, the most important thing is what is the impact that I've had on people who I've worked with and met and the students that I've taught these last 30 years. And my hope is that I will have a legacy in the sense that my impact on them will be positive as they move into adulthood and as they live the rest of their lives.